Today, I'm going to show you how to create flashcards or task cards that will get your students talking in the target language using Canva's AI tool. So let's get started. First, make sure you're logged into your Canva account, and then you're going to either go to create a design or come over here and click on doc. So we're going to create a new doc. And you can click up here on there where it says magic, right? Or you can click the plus sign and click on magic, right? And we're going to tell it what to do. So I'm going to say in Spanish, since I'm a Spanish teacher in Spanish, create 40 questions for my Spanish one students. And I'm going to say um, separate in increments of 10. All right. And you'll see why I'm doing that in a minute. All right. So it's generating my questions. It's looking good. So we'll see. All right. So I'm going to insert. I can take a look at them, make sure everything looks good. All right. So now let's go and actually create our conversational task cards for our students. So now we're going to go back here and you can go to the search bar and you can click Canva templates and type in task cards and you're going to see there's a ton of stuff that's going to come up. So just kind of go and find something that you like and, um, you know, find it. Okay. So I kind of like this. So I'm going to say customize template. And I'm going to scroll. I don't need these extra ones right here. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm also going to get rid of this because I don't need it. You'll see why in a minute. And now I'm going to come and I'm going to either go to the little side right here where it says apps. And I'm going to, you can either type it in here or you can come and look and click on bulk create. So we're going to click on that. And now we, we need to go ahead and type this manually. Let me get this out of the way. All right, so now let's go to our document and we are going to copy these right here. And notice that our task cards, I actually don't need this right here. Notice that our first one, it's teal. So we're going to come back over here under bulk create and we're going to say, you can upload, like if you save this, you can upload the data or you can enter manually. I'm going to enter it manually clear the table, and then right here, this first task card, I'm going to name it Teal. And then I'm going to paste my stuff right here, okay? Now I'm going to add Next, and I'm going to name the second one Yellow. I'm going to go back to my document and copy the second set of questions. And I'm going to put that there. All right, now if you go back to your task cards, there we're going to have the yellow. I think it's the next one. So let's go ahead and add that. Um, sorry, not yellow, um, orange. So we'll say orange. And we're going to paste, and then we're going to add one more. And then we're gonna copy and paste our last one, our last set of questions. And this is gonna be pink, I believe it's the last color. Paste it, and there we go. Now I'm gonna click done. And notice right here, we've got our colors, right? So now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make sure we match them up. And we're gonna click and say connect data. And it's going to make uh, make us choose. So I'm going to choose teal. And now it's connected. All right. Now let's go to the yellow task card. We'll say connect. We'll pick yellow. Notice how it's connecting it. Let's go to orange. Connect data. We're going to pick orange. And then let's go to pink. Connect data and select pink. All right. So notice everything's connected. We're going to hit say continue. Move this out of the way. And now we're going to say generate 10 designs. So let's go ahead and look at it. And voila, look at our awesome task card. So this is great. Um, I love using this with my students. Look at the, the donde eres, cual es el numero que viene después de diez. So these are great to get your students talking in a target language. You can do this in any language. 
Um, you can print this out. You can share these, print them out. Um, you just go to share, download, and print them out. You can cut them up and give them to your students. You can also um, make them in a digital game, upload them to like, um, you know, Plickers or Socratic or any of the other games that are out there. So um, it is so much fun. Such a great way to get your students talking in the target language. And yeah, definitely go to Canva.com if you don't have your free educator.com, um, you know, account, go there. Um, it's Canva for education and you will put in your school or district email address and then we'll, they will approve and you'll get all the pro features, which is great. Now, if you like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you're watching this on YouTube or follow. And if you want to learn how to save time, how to save at least 10 hours or more per week as a world language teacher, then go and watch the free workshop that is on the Tech for World Language Teachers blog. It will show you how to use AI to save minimum 10 hours a week, not just to save time, but how to engage your students. So go check that out. You can go to the blog or you can comment workshop below. And make sure you come over to our free Facebook group, the Tech for World Language Teachers Facebook group. You can ask questions. We share ideas and resources. I'm in there every day. Um, so you can post your question. If I don't see your question, one of our awesome members will see it and we can help you out. All right. I hope you found this useful and like and subscribe and follow. Adios.